In this video we are going to recreate this countdown intro inside the Premiere Pro. So first we have to select the text tool. Let's write the number 10. And scale this to 1000. Align the text to the middle. To perfectly do that we use an alignment tool. Now go over to the effects panel. Search for basic 3D. Drag and drop this effects to your text layer. Head over to the effect controls panel. Under the basic 3D effect. Make a keyframe on the distance to image. Set the keyframe value of minus 90. Move 15 frames forward. And change the value to 0 again. Here is the animation you can see. To make it smooth, right click on the last frame and select ease in. And make the first keyframe ease out. Now go over to the graphics and titles. Inside the new layer select rectangle tool. And scale it bigger than your frame size. Change the rectangle color darker black. Move the text layer above the rectangle shape. Then nest the rectangle layer. And inside the nested layer add a new track. Now select the ellipses tool. And make a circle shape to the program window. To see the circle change color to gray. Make it a little bit bigger. And align it from the Essential Graphics tab. To make the animation more dynamic, we are going to use a green screen circle animation. Which you can find under the description link. Let's adjust the size of it to fit the frame size. Now we are going to remove the green screen. So move over to the Effects tab. And search for Ultra Key. Drop this effects to your green screen footage. Move to the effect controls panel. Under the ultra key effect, click on the key color picker icon. And select the green color from the video. We need to increase the speed of this circle animation. Move over to the main sequence to watch the preview of the animation. To customize it more we will add an image as a background layer, and drag and drop the image under the nested sequence. Now we are going to animate the nested layer. In the effects panel search for radial wipe. Drag and drop this effects to the nested layer. Go to the effect controls panel. And move the time indicator to the first frame and set the transition value to 50% and make a keyframe to the start angle. Set the start angle to 60 degrees. Move 10 frames forward and change it to 90 degrees. Let's see a quick preview. Now we are going to add the drop shadow effect to the text layer in the effects panel Search for Drop Shadow and apply it to the text layer. Go to the Effects panel. Set the direction to 316. Also the distance value to 325. Here you can see your countdown animation. Before going to the next step, let's talk about the sponsor of the video. And this video is sponsored by Motion Array. Motion Array provides thousands of Premiere Pro templates and presets. It also has a versatile audio library for all your audio needs. You can easily download amazing countdown templates. Also, they provide high quality stock footages. Just drag and drop effects and presets. Whether you're searching for captivating music tracks or immersive sound effects, from dynamic graphics to stunning animations, Motion Array offers tons of resources to elevate your video production. To create an awesome video, you can check out the Motion Array under the description link and get $50 off on the annual subscription. It is now very easy to continue this countdown process. Cut the first number at the 1 second mark. 
Now select all layers and duplicate them by holding the Alt key. Change the number 10 to number 9. And align the number to the center, using Essential Graphics. Inside the Effects Control, change the Drop Shadow Direction. And now change the background image. Also select the nested sequence, and go over to the effects control. On the first frame give the start angle value of 90. Now go to the last frame and change the value to 120. Here you can see your countdown animation. To improve the animation add an adjustment layer. Split it into two part. Select the first part. Head over to the effects panel. Search for fast blur. And drag and drop the effects on the adjustment layer. Move over to the effects control panel. In the first frame set the keyframe. Change the blurriness value to 25. After 10 frames again change the value to 0. Copy the effects. Paste it to the second adjustment layer. Now, you can easily repeat the process as many times as you need. For those interested in creating a stomp rhythmic intro, I recommend watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.